guys, welcome back to the Law of Attraction Secrets podcast. I'm your host, Natasha Graziano, and today on the show, we have such an awesome guest, somebody that I've been watching probably on TV, I think for like 15 years. I love her. She's one of the top entertainment hosts of the decade, the previous <laughs> decade, and probably the next decade. She's hosted shows like Alter Ego. She currently does GMA3. She has done BT 106 in Park with one of our previous guests, you're about to find out. Welcome to the show, Roxy Diaz. I'm so happy that our mutual friend Terrence J made this happen because I'm already obsessed with you in just a <laughs> just a little bit of time that we've gotten to get to know each other. This is really cool. Oh my god, love you. Happening. He was literally just on the week before you. So it's mm. so cool. Oh, it's well, like the squad. We yeah, we we're never as much as as far apart as we are, we are never that far apart. We always there's always something uh to bring our 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 little fan base back together and the nostalgia it. of it all. But I love Terrence Shea. He's just a remarkable person. Oh my God. Well, you two, I used to watch you on BET. Yeah. I was like, I love this. I was yeah. like, you know, watching this, it was music and fun. Mm -hmm. And just, I just remember you being this amazing host. I just thought she is gorgeous and just got it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. You brought Thank the fun you. to your shows. You always do. Yeah. You know, I always say that Terrence was the fun of 106 and Park and I was, it. and I was the business. Uh, they're they're going to be two wild animals loose on the on the set. So uh, <laughs> he was definitely the fun and the you know the backbone and and um, the star. Terrence is such a star, um, and I'm there and and I felt like I was there and I kept the show. I made sure we were we went to break. I made sure that the lines that were supposed to be read got read. And I mean, he may see it differently, but I just remember him being really like the light of the show. He was just so much fun. Aww. Yeah. Well, you guys know exactly who we're talking about <laughs> because he was just on for the yeah. second time, oh, which is amazing. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. I love it when we get like regular people who come back, you know, the next year with all their new updates. And it's amazing to see, like, yeah. if, if you know, if you come back, which we'd love to have you back. So you come back a second time, we'll see this massive evolution yeah. of like, oh my God, like she's already at the, like what we would think is the pinnacle. Uh -huh. But then for you, it's like, another job well, so much could happen in a week so much could happen in a month three months like you were telling me <laughs> so much can happen in a year i mean it, it just things are always always like one thing that's not going to stop is this is time time yes. is going to continue to go so yeah things are always changing and people are always changing every single day so that's, evolving that's, that's awesome like you said evolving so no, that's uh -huh. awesome people to come back i mean he's got an oscar to talk about now so, oh so my yeah God, i know a yeah. um, movie he produced mm -hmm. i was very impressed i was like and we filmed the night before the oscars how oh, crazy so he was like I'm going to the Oscars tomorrow. And I was like, you just got an Oscar last year. Like that yeah. was amazing. Yeah. yeah, really good. So that exactly that had happened yeah. since he came on. So who knows? Yeah, never know. What you're going to be holding know. this time next year. Never know. Oh I don't know. That would be a great thing. That would be an awesome thing. Do you believe in manifestation? I do. I do believe in manifestation. Um, you, and it, it's funny that in, in ours, my practice would always come in the form of a vision board. You know, the beginning of the year, you start your vision board and uh, or you write things down, journaling throughout the year also. Um, but funny thing about, uh, not to make this interview about Terrence either, but when we both were on um, 106 Park and in our dressing rooms, we both had little vision boards in our dressing rooms no about, way. yeah, and he had a massive one on his wall in his dressing room. I remember that newspaper clippings and say, and I would do the same and we would, I would, you know, we would change pictures, paste, and 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 I guess that was our form of that was our intro into manifestation, uh, manifesting. Uh, so yeah, so that that's always been with me throughout my career, and especially with this career, you have to be able to set a goal and set an intention and see something else in the future to keep you going. Because you know our industry code, there's ups and downs, and you just really never know where you're going to end up. So true. Talking of ups and downs, did you go through? any challenging moments, and I mean like real like challenges in the way that I was sharing with you, I went through with my health before the show today, 
did you go through anything in your life that was like you remember that rock bottom because you've become this beautiful butterfly but it's so relatable for our audience to know you are human too yeah you know and you may have gone through something mm -hmm. it'd be so interesting to know well i think with the ups and downs in the industry um and i say the industry because we're talking about the entertainment industry um like when i left 106 and park i didn't have a job I just moved to LA on a gut feeling that something was gonna happen and, and something was gonna transpire. Wow. Um, I remember reading a book by Joyce Meyer. She has like a 365 book that's like affirmations and just daily scriptures every day. And I would read that book every single day. I would make sure I had a scripture every day. And I was like, it's something's gonna break, something's gonna, it's never my time, it's always on God's time. And that's yep. one of my biggest mottos. I've seen um, you say that a lot on your the, social. Yeah. yeah, all the time. And I'm always very, very thankful and, and appreciative for any opportunity that I get. So um, in this business, there are your spells of droughts. And during those droughts are really scary. You don't know how you're gonna pay the mortgage. You don't know how you're gonna keep afloat. I've just been blessed to be able to keep afloat. And, and I've been fortunate that when I feel like, oh my goodness, I really don't know. And I start getting really, really scared. Something always opens up and opens. Wow. It always happens. So now I'm more in a place where I'm like, I don't worry as much as anymore. Yes. Because I know God has me and I know that something's going to happen and open for me. Gosh, that's amazing. So you just trust in the divine. You have complete certainty and belief and you know. So when you set these goals, I, oh God, it'd be awesome. Do you have a picture of that dressing room with the vision board? No, I don't. Oh my God, <laughs> it'd be so well, cool. No. I was like, I, you know, Terrence probably has a picture of his because this was like way bigger. He had like a whole wall. I had my mirror and I would put things around the mirror, Beautiful. pictures and sayings. I'm, I'm really big on sayings. I'm, it's funny when I do my vision boards yeah. uh, every year, I, I find it hard to cut pictures because I'm always finding a, something, a, a, a saying or a word or That's, something that always stands out to me more. Um, but no, I don't have, I don't, I don't have a picture of it. Oh my God, so cute. I love vision boarding. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me some sayings you love. Um, if you remember anything. Well, I have, I have one, I have a few of them on my refrigerator actually. Um, Oh gosh! Of course, when you put me on the spot, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, uh, don't worry. I don't remember. Like, um, uh, but you know, time. not it, just like I said, not your time, God's time. You Love know, that all one. good things come to those who wait. Beautiful. You know, uh, just those kind of things. Yes, you know, like, along those you know, affirmations. The best is yet to come. Just Love different, that. different affirmations. Yeah, different affirmations that are always there and st words that stand out. You know, uh, star, breakthrough. You know, uh, just goals trendsetter like those big love that. big font words you get in magazines yes those are always the ones i cut out god i love that yeah. you see it doesn't matter how far along the food chain you are <laughs> and we've had some amazing people on the show who are like you know all of you are just such stars and then you, it just shows we all do the same things yeah. we're all doing vision boards yeah we're all doing affirmations we're all using the power of our subconscious mind to help us activate the things we want exactly and it, the law of attraction. That's why we called this show the law of attraction secrets mm. because it's all the secrets behind the basic like attracts like and positivity and yes. all that. It's like, so do you have any morning rituals that you do? Is there anything that you, maybe your actual morning ritual? Uh -huh. I would love to hear about that. You know, I gotta get better with my morning ritual because I'm not a morning person. <laughs> really? No, it's like my my morning ritual is like chill for like 30 minutes before I really go into the world. But I I did stop. I was getting into a really bad habit of the first thing that I was doing was checking social media. Oh yeah, we've and, all been that. Yeah, and so and funny funny thing, I said okay, I have to give the first moment that I open my eyes to God, you know. And so I went back to that same Joyce Myers book that I have, my yep. little 365 devotional. And I said, before Instagram, this, before Instagram scripture, before, you know, Beautiful. looking at what the shade room was doing or Hollywood Unlocked, like my favorite gossip sites, you know, cause I am in the entertainment industry. So, um, and I'm an entertainment journalist. So I'm always curious to what's going on. Uh, but I just said, I, I can't continue to keep this, this scrolling. You know, it's an addiction, and 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 so I make sure that the first first moments of my day is scripture, whether that's it's just reading my scripture of the day for that day, and then I and I make sure that I give attention to you know 
my loved ones yeah. first. Yeah. Then I'll get into the day. You know, I don't have yeah. to just jump right on my phone and yeah. what am I missing? Nothing. So when we go to our phone in the morning, we go to somebody else's agenda. 1000%. And all of a sudden, you, as soon as you take it off airplane mode, I don't know if you do airplane mm -hmm. mode at night. I love to do airplane mode. Then you don't have any Wi-Fi and all of the rest of it. But as soon as I take it off, 50,000 things yeah. pop up, whether it's yeah. the news and email, texts yeah. and WhatsApps from the night before. And you think, Jesus, yeah. how much can happen in, in one yeah. night? But as soon as that starts, you know, you go to their agenda. Uh -huh. So you have to pause and do what makes you happy, right? Exactly. Exactly. I think we, we, as great of a tool social media is and as great as our phones can be to get us through daily life and stuff like that, we have become a society that is completely addicted to what's happening on this little device instead of being present on what's happening around us. And and I fall victim of that all the time. I, I, was, I was at the circus last night and I'm pulling out my phone and I'm like trying to get little clips, you know, of things that I'm catching. But at the same time, my mother's like, hey, enjoy it. Yeah. Just enjoy yeah. it. Just be there, you know? And I was like, you're right. You know, and you my mom literally down. does the same with the zoo yesterday yeah. with my son. And she was like, can you do that later? Yeah. Like, can you, can you reply to that person later? Yeah. Can you like be present in the moment? Exactly. You know, this monk told me recently, this Tibetan monk, really interesting. It's something that's really stuck with me. And he said, Natasha, if you can be present in every single thing you do in your day, from brushing your teeth mm -hmm. to walking, to having a conversation with somebody, whatever it is you're doing, be fully in that moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. You will lose all anxiety. You will let go of it. You will be in such a better place and you will get so much more done. Mm. Because we try and multitask all the time. Yeah. Particularly as women, we, you know, we, we love it. We're like, I'm on the phone, I'm typing, I'm talking to someone over there, we're doing a million things. Mm -hmm. But when we come into the moment and we focus on the present, all of a sudden, life is so zen and yeah. peaceful. I agree. Even a miscast, but it's hard, huh? I know that one thousand percent. It's you because again, it's you're 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 at what what sense does it make? And I, and I had to think. I think of it a lot. And part, mind you, social media is part of our business as well. But what sense does it make that you're at an amazing event and you're there capturing it on your phone, not really capturing what's happening in that moment? to capture it for other people to see. Wow. Not even watching what you're meant to be there for. So it's like, start enjoying, yes, we get great opportunities, great opportunities, but you're not even enjoying the opportunity because you're so worried about capturing the opportunity for others to see you doing, enjoying a moment that you didn't even really get to enjoy because you were so worried about the look of it. You're so worried about the pres, you're not worried yeah. about being present, you're worried about the presence of what it looks like for you to be there. That is so it's just, it's profound. Just, it yep. just gets so stupid. It just gets stupid. I think we're going to come to a point in time, hopefully sooner than later, where we're going to start caring more. Um, and I, I wish we, especially Americans, um, had more of a European sense where family and well-being and being in the moment is more important yes. than everything else going around. Yeah. You know, the, the Italian way, the French way, the the Spaniard way, yeah. you know, the, the siesta way. You can tell you, know. you spent time in Europe, you get it. Well, I'm, I'm born in Honduras, raised here in the United States, but I've been in, you know, I've had a blessing of being able to travel a lot, spend time in third world countries and spend time um, abroad and overseas as well. And I just, what I've always been taken, taken from all those other places that I've been to is the love of family time and, and and cherishing those moments and not the rat race of it all. You know, we, I hear this a lot. Like, I think I took it for granted being from Europe mm -hmm. because like being British raised, um, you know, I'm a mix of culture, but being raised there, I spent a lot of time in Italy. I've got Italian genes as well. A lot of time in France, all these places, it's so local, right? It was just mm -hmm. like a normal right. thing to do. And yes, you take a siesta in the afternoon and you spend so much time with family and we still manage to fit working, but it's a different style, yeah. you know? So it's really interesting when I came to America, America, <laughs> I then was like, I then was like, when I got here, I was like, wow, it's so different. Yeah. It is a rat race. It's a like, rat race. Particularly in New York, yes. like in big cities. Oh, yeah. 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 It was like, this is full on. So I found yeah. myself going out and not out, out, going out of the world of the rat race into the Zen to just 
put my feet in some grass and stand and ground every day just mm. to like, you know, even this morning before I have a wild day ahead of me, I'm, I'm standing feet in the grass, grounding with my mom, doing breath work. I was yes. teaching her actually to do breathing awesome. today, you know, just to connect back to what's real because we lose sight of that we do. so easily. We do. We what, do. what are the three most important values to you? Oh, um, well, like family, family travel. Yeah, or... family is 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 everything. Family is family is is by all means my my everything. Um, family. I want to be successful, but I want to be successful on my terms and not mm. never. Uh, somebody else's I, I definition? No, I, it's not so, not so much somebody else's definition. I never want to compromise myself with who I am and who I was raised to be and integrity. somebody in my integrity. So integrity is definitely a big thing. Family, integrity, and and of course my mental health and peace is, I don't, whatever everybody else got going on, okay, fine, as long as that energy is not seeping into, because yeah. you have your friends that are can be Debbie Downers. <laughs> And so you start this year, one of my New Year's resolutions was to be very intentional with my energy and who I allow in my space and who I share my energy with as well, because it's not for everybody. You you think you have this endless supply of energy, but you don't, you know, and you got to make sure you keep up some of it for yourself. So. So, yeah, beautiful. So, words. Yeah. I yeah. love those beautiful values. So talking on energy um, today, I was in my book club that I host every week. Uh, I told everybody, we all pick, I can't believe you just said it. It's like you were, you know, you've been <laughs> just known intuitively. We all pick up the phone, have those calls yeah. or answer the phone or even in person. We have those Debbie Downers. I love, yeah. I love oh, how you call yeah. it that, right? Debbie Downers. And you just feel, God, afterwards, I didn't feel elevated by that. So I said to everyone today, I said, well, why don't you pick up the phone and we're on Zoom doing this call. And I said, imagine you're all calling me. We're gonna mute your thing and you're gonna pick up your phone in front of me and you're gonna call me and have an amazing conversation about something you've already achieved that you wanna do this week right. or this month. And so I said, choose your goal. Think of your goal right now. So maybe you wanna get that pay rise at work. Maybe you wanna get that bonus. Maybe you want to get X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. Okay, now pick up the phone and have a conversation with me. Pretend that is the kind of conversation you wanna have. Right. We did two minutes of it. Everyone was like, I like watch the energy raise. I watched everybody's energy, their mm -hmm. faces light up. Everyone felt so different. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I was sitting there thinking, wow, why don't we do this every single day? Exactly. I want to personally invite you to The Book Club, hosted by Natasha Graziano. That's me. It's every Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific, where you're going to tap into your unlimited power of your mind, where you're going to understand how to access parts of your brain you have not been using until now. I'm going to show you how to unlock the key to abundance in your life, how to turn on the tap to everything you desire, the same way that I attracted my soulmate into my life in three weeks, the same way that I went from broke, no money in the bank, hundreds of thousands in debt. I was a single mom, thought I had nothing going on in my life. I was suicidal at my worst point. And I have transformed my life into who I am today in just two and a half, three, four years. I've created the empire that I now live in and lead and help so many people all over the world, just like yourself, so that you too can go on and inspire your community. I can't wait to show you this method, these practical tools that are gonna help you to unlock the life of your dreams too. And we do it all in the book club. Across the next 60 days the rollout is fire we have celebrities coming in we've got top coaches coming in we've got a squad of people who are there in this community who are helping you to access those parts of your brain helping you through the words they're preaching the words they're speaking the lessons we're giving out so it's your turn to shine it's your turn to come and receive you give so much in your life you're probably the person who just always is giving and giving and giving now it's your turn it's your turn to sit back once a week, relax and indulge in a space that's completely for you, just for you. And whilst it's still free, hit that link below and reserve your seat at the book club. The link is below. Join now and I'll see you there. Choose who we want to speak to. Exactly. Have an amazing conversation with somebody and raise up the bar. Yeah. Just like have those conversations about things we want to achieve. Yeah. No, 1000%. I just can't. 
people will be leeches of your energy. People will be leeches of your time. And I don't, I don't have, I don't have the energy for You're it. You're in a big so emission, in a big, I just, yeah, I just, I don't want that. You, you, I think that just comes with age too. You just know what you want and you know what you don't want. Yes. You've already experienced life to a certain extent yes. that you're like certain things that used to satisfy me or used to make me feel whole are not the same anymore. Yes. I, I choose peace. I choose, you know, when, where and how and why. And, and it's a great place to be. It's a really, that. a really great place to be. And I'm happy. At, I'm, I'm a homebody. So I'm very happy at home in me my too. space. In an area that I can control, yes. you know. You can have the food you want exactly. at the time you want. Thank God for uh, delivery food apps. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, my They're God. They're my best friend. So, I, like I said, I'm home. I, I like to be home. I like to be comfortable. And I like when friends have the same, la same language of chill as I do. And it, I never, like that. it never takes a lot. Language of chill. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I've not heard that before. Mm -hmm. So people who are on that same Zen vibe as you or yeah. whatever chill means. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's it's just like knowing your love language. Yes. You also have to know people's entertainment language as well. Yes. Some people's entertainment language will be the rah rah and the in the clubs and the going out or that, which is fine. Some people's entertainment language is literally the chill, card games at home, you know, streaming movies, whatever you want to do. Um, some people's entertainment language is, is hiking and being active and working out, not necessarily going out, but working out in different different social environment languages that you have. So you just find like minded people at the end of the day. And that comes with that comes with just time and yeah. age and you just learn these things, you know. Talking about love, oh, our favorite topic, we talk about love on the show. I'm such a hopeless romantic. I think it's why I've been engaged so many times. I just like chase after the thrill of love. I love it so much. Um, what's your love language? Um, my love language is, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely uh, acts of kindness, uh, random acts of kindness. Uh, mm. Somebody that helps me get things Done. Acts of service. Acts of service. Me too. Yes. Acts of service. Oh, so cool. But also, um, I don't know the, the, the terminology of it because I can't remember the love languages right now, but um, just the the affection, you know, the holding hands, yeah. the you look beautiful, the all of those kind of the things. Words of yeah, affirmation. Words of affirmation. Thank yeah. you. You know the book better than me. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I took mean, the test. That was as far as I went. <laughs> I love it. You, oh, no, it's it's very accurate. And I am like that in my business relationships mm. as well. It's not just love. Yeah. If some someone who works for me, I'm going to just have, I'm just going to adore them because they're constantly doing things mm -hmm. for me. It's my love language. Yeah. It, I always say to people, you know, I, it's like a love affair because yeah. I just adore people who help me and uh, enable me to go and do my career in the way I need to, exactly. to go to the place I need to. If I'm faffing around with things that aren't worthy of my time, I'm not in my area of genius, mm -hmm. right? It's like in order for you to show up and be this top host and now you're on G um, GMA. GMA, Good Morning America for all yeah. our English viewers. Um, you know, now you're doing that. It's like in order for you to show up, you have to have people around you, even friendships that are oh, yeah. exactly ticking the boxes yeah. and yeah. making you feel your best yeah. in order for you to show up. Cheerleaders. You, you, in life, you have your cheerleaders. My mom is my biggest cheerleader. Oh, really? You know, my partner is my biggest cheerleader as well. And, and so you, you have people that genuinely, genuinely want to see your well-being, yeah. your well-wishes. They want to see you succeed. They want to see you happy. Um, I'm the happiest when I'm working and I'm out and I'm doing television and entertainment. That's the happiest you're going to see me. Um, so when I have people in my corner that support that and don't get in the way of that, because yeah. relationships can get in the way of your career and, and whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah. Um, those are the people that you kind of stick with. Yeah, for you sure. Know, have you got your homies from like the whole time? I do. Actually, I'm really bad at making new friends. <laughs> it's a, I'm just like Lil Wayne's song, No New Friends. Oh, yeah. So, or was it Chris Brown? One of them. Uh, friends. Yeah, okay. No New Friends. One uh, of them. Uh, so Drake? Maybe it was Drake. Who was it? Look, I'm I don't know who it was. I'm, please forget. We can edit this part out. But yeah. <laughs> no New Friends. Uh, I And Terrence is such a great mingler. I am the worst mingler. Uh, in the world. Uh, I just 
get really quiet. You are it's like so weird. You have no idea. It's you so have no weird. Idea. I just, I'm, I just, I, I don't know. It's like social anxiety and just so many really people do. awkward. In do you know public. most my uh, friends? I uh -huh. say friends versus clients because really, like, it's just the same thing. Because I'm, so, you know, I'm there for uh -huh. them. My my friends who I like guide and, and coach every single one of them and they're all in the limelight yeah. are social have social anxiety yeah so the first thing we do is we do this like breakthrough exercise mm. which i swear by it has transformed how i am in relationships how i am publicly socially and it's all based around releasing the, the fear that's creating the social anxiety mm. and where it comes from so it's really so it's funny because i keep meeting more and more people in the limelight who yeah. i mean you're on camera so you'd have no idea it's it's different when you know you know what you're supposed to do on camera and in a room you know what the goal is yeah yeah but then when the worst thing you could ever do to me probably to bring my anxiety level to an ultimate high is invite me to an event and say i don't have a plus one and i'm gonna be like uh, <laughs> oh my god right. i'm like instantly going to fret and yeah. be like i don't we who I, who do yeah. i know that's gonna and it's not that i want to know who's going but then i want to know if there's anybody maybe that i know that's going uh that's actually odd like not being world. allowed to have like a plus one oh, yeah there's you. plenty of things that yeah, yeah. I but i know what i know what you mean like on fashion fashion yeah. week yeah anything and anything i yeah you probably would see me still start sweating oh god and i probably won't go just, no, because, I, yeah, of, yeah, just no. because of it but it could be an amazing opportunity or amazing yeah act, you know thing to do or trip or anything and i'll be like nah if i can't go with somebody yes. to make me comfortable i'm not gonna go i know what you mean it's nice having like your person with you i feel like perry is one <laughs> of my my people who i just like feel really comfortable i have people around me who i just feel that 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 your wing person yes, your wing and man. then you can like giggle together and just like be you know yeah I know then you can like, let loose and then start to mingle and get to know yeah. other people I totally agree. Well, that that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so is that with the law of attraction? You said you read a lot of books. Yes. Which are your favorite of the books that you've Ooh, dived into? Um, Do, the one bite that you said, the three six five. Yes, uh, Joyce Myers. It, Joyce Myers has a devotional for women, mm. and it's literally a scripture a day. Um, Beautiful. We'll so, put a tag to it below to the books that she mentions, guys, because. I think there is a really lovely oh, way. Yeah, yeah. I, I I give it to a lot of my girlfriends as, as Christmas presents or Aww. give it to um, people that I know that are really going through something. Yeah, I'm like, it, you know, somebody can get a book and they'll be like, I don't got time to read it. But then when I give them that book, I'm like, you only have to read one page a day. And it's not even a whole page. Love it's that. like a small little snippet and it's yeah. a scripture. Just, love that. just read that. Yeah. You know, start there. Of course, you know, uh, secrets and uh, the law of attraction have always been my favorite. Favorite. She came. She's books. my mentor, Rhonda Byrne, literally, and she came on the show. It was. She doesn't ever do podcasts. It was awesome. for me. That was a lifelong dream because I was fifteen when I first read the book, and I just thought, my God, I have to have her share with the world. Like yeah. this is going to be life changing. That's for pretty people. awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that was what is. Like, it's funny, isn't it? The people who we have these. Like I want to. You know, I want I want to have this person teach that the, those around yeah. them. What I love to do is create this space for people to share their gifts, mm -hmm. like your gifts. You know what I mean? Okay, give us one more. Oh gosh, have you read um, Think and Grow Rich? I haven't read Think and Grow Rich, but I have it. But I have I have a bad habit of buying books and not reading them too. Don't it's, worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Right, all that. Um, I have an app for that, babe. It's called. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you after, but it's a really great app. And I think I know the app that you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Like that's a hell. Yeah, that, it helps a lot. Um, the Alchemist was another one. Ooh, what's that about? I've heard about it and not oh, read it. Really? No. Uh, the Alchemist is by Paolo Coelho, and it is an amazing book of just. Uh, you ever see that see that meme or that picture on social media where you have the small carrot, but if or you have the gold, and if you would have kept digging for the gold, you would have actually got there and yeah, you would have gotten yeah, yeah. it. But if, all those little, or the bigger carrot versus the smaller carrot. Uh, the alchemist is literally about chasing one's dream and chasing one's destiny and not settling for the glitter and the gold that can come in the way and thinking that that's actually the dream and the destiny, but you actually know you should go keep on going further. And as the further you go, you're really going to get what it was that you were meant to get. 
Um, and it's an amazing book. Um, I'm shocked that they haven't made the movie yet, you know. Um, but that was actually a book, not to name drop, but that was like the book that Will Smith told Terrence and I to read. Really? Like the first, he's like, when you get into Hollywood, he, read this first. Really? Yeah, it was one That's of the so books, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know they're a very spiritual family. Will is, yeah, yeah. They're very he's spiritual Super family. spiritual, super grounded. There's a lot of books, actually. I'll, I, I will send them, shoot them an email, I'll call them Unk, and shoot them an email, and I'll be like, which one do I read this time, you know? Um, so nice. And he always, always, always has a great book list of things that you should do. That's so, so yeah. cool. Oh, I love that. Well, yeah. the reason I ask about books is obviously because we have a book club every Friday and a lot of our listeners come to that. I was literally filming it right before so we cool. came here. So that's why I was like, I'm nearly done. <laughs> um, no, so it's, uh, it, it's a really beautiful space because it's not just for book lovers, it's for people who maybe they haven't started reading yet, but they want somebody to break the book down yeah. for them. You know what I mean? And it's a space where we dive into the law of attraction. We dive into the stuff which we want to know. Like, how do I get to this goal? And I share my personal experiences and things I've been through. Today, we had a lovely success story, which was really out of nowhere. She grabbed me at the end and said, guys, we have to wrap. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm filming after this. I have, we have to go. And she said, please, can I share? And I said, okay, cool. This lady, called, this lady called Lisa comes up. I recognized her from a program, she'd been in one of my programs in 2021. And she says, Natasha, I just wanted to share that the method you just talked about scripting today on the on the yeah. book club, here is my rose you told me to buy and the script that I wrote in 2021. I I'd been single for all this time and I wanted to attract love. Here I am, like less than two years later, and I'm in a happy, harmonious love relationship with my best friend, this guy. Wow. And she's like, it works. And so that's why I do this mm -hmm. for the, the breakthroughs, you know, like you were saying, those big words that mm -hmm. you pin on your fridge for those moments mm -hmm. of happiness for others. Yes. And that's probably why you do what you do, because you bring such joy to people's lives when they see you on camera. Thank you. Alter ego. I just realized that was when <laughs> I saw you on something. I must have watched that whenever that was out recently. Oh my God. I love the 3D, 4D, 5D. Like That is a very big, that is a world of uh, uh, Alter Ego, which was a singing competition show uh -huh. on Fox. And it was such a great, I talk about another blessing when it came out of nowhere and uh, was like, what? I actually, when I got that job, was in between jobs. And um, that week I got two offers. No way. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is. I can only imagine what the other one was as well. Uh, the other one was crazy. Uh, was it, it was a great, it would have been great. It would have been fun, but it was nowhere as big as the opportunity of hosting a prime time uh, music show like what Alter Ego was. Um, but AI technology and uh, just the way that we are consistently raising the bar on what's that new yeah. invention and innovation going to be. AI technology is something that people, especially in the entertainment business, have to start paying attention to because it is it is here to take over and to change the game. It's not definitely not going anywhere. We love AI. Yeah. I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. Chat GBT, do you know it? No. Oh my God, this is going to change your whole world. Chat GBT, and I don't know how the fuck they make money because it's, I mean, it's free for the most part. So you go on there, Chat GBT, it's like called chatopenai.com or something wild. And when you go on, you ask it anything at all, anything. So it's a little bit like, you know, you could ask it a question, but here's where it gets cool. Uh -huh. So I could say, what's the weather like in LA today? Brr, boring. Let me do something awesome. So I'm like, write me my new book in the style of The Alchemist uh -huh. and 15 chapters, 1,200. No way. I swear to you. No This way. is the thing people oh, are God. using. Girl, it's changed my world. I literally, I go on there and I'm like, this needs to be known. Like, okay, if you're listening now, you can sponsor this show because I do love you and I'll talk about you. But no, I honestly have to say it's changed my world. Oh, and that, well, now I know what I'm going to be going to do at home when I go when I go home after this. Oh, oh girl. I have to check it out. Oh, my God. You're you going to send me the link. No, I will. You know what? Totally I, gonna... I will. I'm going to send you the link. I'm going to send it. That's crazy. So no, good. It's, it's scary. It's, it's scary. That's yeah. great, but then it's scary at the same time, so wait, too. When you did the show, Alter Ego, uh -huh. when you see, for anyone who hasn't seen this show, <laughs> Go and Google Roxy now. Put Roxy Diaz Alter Ego onto YouTube. You'll find all the all the stuff on there. I think that may have been where we watched the playbacks, whatever we watched. But oh my God! So there's like five D. I think it's like five D. It's it's actually um, hologram. 
it's like the movie Avatar type of technology yeah. where they use uh, mocap suits and then they created this cartoon character. The all our we call them avatars. It's it's an avatar. It's literally a digital avatar. Did you see them on stage no. next to you? So when I as you were standing next to me as as a human being, yeah, our alter ego the character would be standing next to me on stage you at home would see that but what i would see is actually nothing and i'm actually looking at a monitor way far that would give me the same eye level as if i was looking at it took a it took a lot um so let's think about it it was definitely the most creative weirdest boot camp of hosting television shows that I've ever did because everything that I did there was something I've never done before. So it was really, really, really cool. But yeah, I mean, it's exactly what Paula Abdul did during Opposites Attracts music video and she was dancing with a cartoon character. It's what Roger Rabbit did back in the day, you know, it's like- Crocodile, oh, yeah. the crocodile one. Um, uh -huh. Rio's favorite movie, Lao Lao Crocodile. Yeah, Lao. Is it the same? Exactly, exactly. Ah. So it's, um, it's that. And that's, it's going to be more present. We have, we have groups that are now alter, are done in this, you know, AI technology and they're literally avatar alter ego groups that are recording albums and they're in the music industry. This is nuts. So the audience couldn't see the alter ego as well? No, the audience would see the screens around the studio to, wow. to to give them the eye line of we could it was the you wildest saw, thing. you saw the finished product Honestly, <laughs> i was addicted i just have to say like i'd watch these avatars and like it blew my mind yeah you guys have to see it okay and then my my final thing i want to touch into because you're just such an awesome Thank host and, and i think there's so many people who obviously know you from different shows gma tell us like are you are you loving it you're just like you're such an i love when i see you because you are the entertainment host you're yes. known as that right that's like roxy diaz the entertainment host um and you loving that are you love i love it i mean it talking about manifestation and i would always say when i moved from new york i was like there's no way i can go back the only way i go back is if it's like a good morning america check no that ass way that ass mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> And, and then, although I'm not all the way back in New York, but I go back to New York for Good Morning America. Oh, that is so yeah. cool. That's kind of pinching, like, pinch that, is that, yeah. that's real. Yeah, you see, yeah. Do you celebrate your wins? Do you actually I, celebrate? I don't celebrate them enough. Um, I don't celebrate them enough, but because I don't feel like it's just there yet. Yeah. But when it, when it is a big win, you know, when it is a big win, um, I do take a moment, but every time I go on that set, I'm like, this is crazy. Like wow. this is literally legit crazy. So yeah, um, I'm enjoying my time with um, GMA3, which is the third hour of GMA. Wow. Um, but to be able to be around Michael Strahan and who's a dear friend of mine and, and Robin Roberts and like all of these amazing journalists that I've looked up to for so long, to be able to walk through those doors and, and be at what I think is the pinnacle of news for America. Um, it's, it's pretty freaking awesome. It's I awesome. love it. You're yeah. so humble as well. Like you're just such a beautiful soul. Thank you. Thank like you. you're, she's just as nice in person. <laughs> she's just Thank as you. nice. Thank you. Wow, you're really Thank you. a lovely soul. You've got a lovely energy. Before we started, I realized, so I said, what's that sign you? She's a Scorpio. And then we've got three Scorpios <laughs> in the studio right now. And I've never been in the room with more than one Scorpio. Really? Well, well, not that I we're know. We're everywhere. We're taking over. I know. <laughs> I love that. You're, you're, you're a strong Scorpio. Thank you. you. What are your main traits as a Scorpio? Oh, wow. Okay, the good ones are the bad ones. I want both, girl. We <laughs> want to we know both. Let's see. Like, I'm going to look at the Scorpios in the room right now and see if they, <laughs> if they agree. Okay. We're I literally think, three think, Scorpios right. in a category. Oh, um, there's... Oh. Okay, the bad ones, but I've grown out of them. Was you can grow out of them. I think you do. I think you do grow out of. I think the traits are always there, but you learn how to man. You learn how to manage your anger or your frustrations. Or for for me, it was jealousy. I don't know if uh, other Scorpios are possessiveness or jealousy. And you, know, you see, see young Scorpio, older Scorpios, we could teach them how to control that. Um, jealousy, but it, with jealousy, and then is probably the worst trait um, that I believe Scorpios have. But we're very loyal. We're, we're so loyal that it's sickening, sickening and sometimes harms us. Um, we are 
super, super loving and caring, like literally would move a mountain, whatever, to make you happy. Um, and I do that. Uh, I, I feel like, and I think that we are honest. Yeah. Brutally honest. Yeah. But I don't see that as a bad trait. I see that as more of a grounding factor for ourselves and the people around us as well. That's beautiful. So those are the traits I would say that my biggest Scorpio traits are. Yeah. Are you into astrology? I am. I am. Like, yeah, I if love, you love it, I have I, something I love for it. you. I love it, but I, I'm i not like one of those that, like our uh, my Scorpio sister in the room, she was like, she knows her entire chart, you know. I know my rising and I know my sun and yeah. that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm a Scorpio, Scorpio Leo. Ooh. When's your birthday? November, November. 17th. Okay, so for yeah. your birthday, I'm going to get you a really cool gift. I'm going to get you your. I'm going to get you your Kabbalistic astrology reading done. I don't even know what that is. Oh my god, it's like the it's the whole chart of everything. The whole chart of you, who you were in a past life, who you are in this lifetime, and where you're going right now. That's super interesting. It's so beautiful, and it will tell you about the partners, the this, the that, the, the everything, okay. everything. It will tell you like you know, the family you're going to have. You know, I'm not like, going to be able to wait for November. Yeah, Another no, thing no, that just, yeah. Scorpios are is impatient. So oh, gonna, <laughs> she's already like, I'm already like, you're just going to text yeah. that to me later. I'm yeah. going to figure oh, out my God. all of this now. So she's been on my show. She's my actual teacher. Oh, wow. Beautiful celebrity Kabbalistic astrology teacher and looks after some amazing, you'll have some wow. friends for sure. And you only need it done once a year at most. Okay. That's how profound it is. I cannot tell you how spot on it is. I'm interested. Yeah. You, okay. You, well, that will be an early birthday present. I'm interested. I'm totally I, I interested don't do now. this for you. It's, it's, a, you. it's such a it's such a wonderful thing. Yeah, I'll do it because uh, if you're into astrology, it's really interesting. Yeah. I think that it's I think that the traits, especially for dating and and, yeah. and um, for instance, yeah, you're a Capricorn. Yeah. You know, and and I knew right away. Like there is a vibe about you that I'm okay. Like like we're okay to talk and chill. Even as even as a beautiful woman that you are, sometimes girls get around girls and you're like, I don't know how it's gonna be. You get the anxiety. Is she gonna be nice or whatever? You know. And, and you're absolutely amazing. But if you would have said, uh, I'm a Gemini or a Leo, right away I would have had anxiety. I'd be like, Oh my God, I don't know how this is gonna go. Is it that funny? <laughs> at the Scorpios again like is that, that true? it's not just me it's not just me uh but yeah you it's because I feel like our traits our traits and who we are they it is it is who makes us it is it is the personalities and the traits that make us and be and nothing nothing wrong with Gemini's or Leo's just for the record um but you just know who you'll instantly yes. have a connection with and who you may who it might take a little bit more work Totally agree. You're so and that's with everybody. Mm, you're yeah. so spot on. I I feel like we are. That's well. It's why people search compatibility of signs. Exactly. They want to know who is going to rub them the wrong way exactly. and then how to avoid that. Like you know yeah. what I mean. It's yeah. one of the first questions you usually ask somebody. Is yeah. What's well, we your did sign? straight away. Yeah. It was like, what's, what's your sign? sign? Yeah, yeah, totally. Because you want to know like. Wow, that's so interesting. I realized that's such a good point you made. It's one of the first questions you ask somebody. You're right. Yeah. We do. We that we want to know right away. Who am I sitting with? Yeah, yeah. It's a bit, I've not done the human behavior thing, but you know that human behavior chart. I've heard about it. Apparently, mm. it's a whole other version of it. It's not astrology. It's something else. I don't know much about it, so I wouldn't lean into that topic. But I've heard people love it, and I have apps on my phone that like tell me about my day. Oh, do you like Feng Shui? Nah, I'm not. I never got it. into it. I know yeah. about it, but I never got into it. But I hear that yes, creating a space. Your home space yep. to be feng shui. And you can do it in your way. So, okay, this morning it said declutter your house and your texts on your phone. Declutter uh, old clothes, but beyond that, go and declutter old emails, old texts. You can create space for new ones to come in. Well, that's the thing with the web and the cloud. You, you know, you don't have to. Like, there's <laughs> like, you would have, if you looked at my phone, you would literally see 56 thousand unread emails i can't go erase all of that oh, no, no, no. Too yeah long. way too long way just... too long way too long yeah but i'm too far far gone <laughs> gone girl no that's a lot of people want to hit you up oh my god you should just type into that later like what you want to manifest just uh -huh. type in the word so let's say it was like 
I know, look, you're a movie producer and acting, like you, you know, oh my God, that's so exciting. Let's just touch on that for one second. But basically you can type in a word, let's say it okay. was like producer. If you type that into your email, it'd be interesting to see if there's any like people saying, hey, do you want to produce this? Hey, do you want to get involved with this? Hey, do you want to, yeah. you know, sometimes like typing in your keyword can bring up some amazing things. That's true, that's true. That my, my, I guess I have a really bad uh, habit of, because you, you don't even have to read a message or you, you could just see the first line of what something is. And so then that's all I need to know. Yeah, you know from that. I don't open up, I don't open up text messages. I don't open up emails. I'm really, it's really bad. No, no, I know the For feeling. in the communication field. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad communicator. I'm a challenged communicator. Oh my God. Yeah. No, you're brilliant at so many things. Okay, production. Last thing I wanna, I wanna touch on. You're producing, yes. you're acting. I mean, that's a natural for you. I can Thank see you. that like you're, so tell us whatever you want to say and, and oh, share. We'd well, love to hear. Um, right now, I'm currently developing two brand new shows, uh, both dating shows. So very like you. I'm I love love. Uh, one with AI technology as no, you know, yes. yeah, and in another. Um, this is the this is the movie or the show? Oh, it's the show. Oh my show. god, so cool. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's again why I say there's a lot of AI technology that people don't know that's out there. And then um, currently. Uh, working on a podcast because people have finally said this is enough is enough. You have to get back and do it. So Ooh, yes, yeah, girl. Oh this my This year God. is coming. We're in development of it right now. We'll chat about that after. I may yeah. have some like you know that that would yeah. be great because I don't know nothing about the podcast space. I'm a radio girl, like so it's podcast. I'm like, what? What? What are you doing? But what? you know, it's the same vibe. Mm. Same, yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, I get tired of. I'll tell you what I get tired of. I get tired of seeing everybody deserves an outlet and a mic, but. When you call yourself a journalist and you're not really a journalist, that kind of stings me a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, let me get back to interviewing my friends and doing real Love journalistic uh, interviews, but that are fun. Yeah. Uh, your time on your show. On a, more so on a safe place and platform where you know people aren't. Because we have this thing where we see that nasty host uh, shock jock value that a lot of people Red think that that's stuff. the way to do it and i'm like that's that's not the only way to do it you know you get further being kind that's exactly what i believe in i yeah. mean i whenever i have celebrities on the show very rarely they actually even ask certain stars they'll say um you know tell me what we're going to talk about because they just know yeah. from my content this is going to be a pleasant right. experience exactly. right and I, you know, I don't ever want to have anyone feel a way other than that mm -hmm. was, you know, adding value to the audience's life. Exactly. You know? And like, exactly. that's where to stick. Oh my God, girl, we need to bring you on for part two. We'll do part two in a year. So yes. we'll see how much has changed. Ah. And you have, do you have any movies coming out or anything? Yes, um, I have a movie that's coming out this summer. Um, it's the sequel to a movie that was called Dutch. Uh, so Dutch 2 is going to be coming out. The Dutch 1 starred Lance Gross. Uh, Dutch 2 stars myself. And you're the lead. I'm the lead. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Technically Dutch is the, always going to be the lead, but he's not in this film. He'll be in praying that he will sign on to the third installation, which we'll be shooting this summer as well. So oh the movie will come out at the same time that I'll be working on the, the third and final chapter of, oh my of God. the Dutch trilogy, which was a famous um, hood classic book, I guess you could say. Um, it's really big in, in um, the culture community. And so I'm really excited. I'm really excited for people to just see me do something different, you know. That is so yeah. cool. Well, but besides we that, I'll be on ABC GMA. I'll be on GMA3. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. So if you want to watch her all the time, you're going to see her on GMA3. If you want to see the movie, well, it's coming out soon. Coming Dutch. out soon, yeah. It's coming out soon. It'll be out this summer. <laughs> so soon thank you so much for coming today roxy thank you, for you having are me. such a beautiful soul i've enjoyed Likewise. spending time with you girl and i can't wait to have you back on in a year or maybe even before that who knows right. i might come on your show hey, by the time that may happen <laughs> that will most likely happen yeah so fun it'll be so so exciting thank you for listening today guys if you've enjoyed the show as much as i have make sure you share this with a friend find that friend who you believe is going to take value away from this today and you're thinking oh who can i send it to send it to two when you find that person share it when we receive we give when we give we receive it's like a beautiful cycle i hope you've enjoyed it and please do tune in again every thursday with our wonderful guests every day for motivation and inspiration and i'll see you again soon i'm your host Natasha graziano and this is the law of attraction secrets <laughs>